Greetings anglers, welcome back to another minute episode of five minute fly tying. Let's do it again. Yeah, let's do that again. Absolutely. And Wait. Greetings anglers, welcome back to another episode of five minute fly tying here with Mad River Outfitters. Let's get to it. Oh, welcome to another episode of five minute fly tying. Today's contestant is Justin Christofferson. The rules are simple. You have five minutes to tie a fly using materials that you've never seen before. Can Justin tie that fly? Hi guys. Justin Christopherson here from Mad River Outfitters. I have been challenged by young Liam to be the next contestant on Five Minute Fly Tying Challenge. This apparently is what I'm up against. This is Liam's fly. Gosh, what is this called? The uh, Corn Dog Blaster 9000. Uh, it looks like something, you know, I would pull out of the vacuum cleaner after cleaning up my fly tying room. So this should be a piece of cake, right? <laughs> we'll see. So the rules are I've got five minutes to tie a fly with whatever material they have picked out for me. And I have not seen these materials. I have no idea what's in store, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good about my odds after seeing this. Okay, let's get to it. If you guys are ready, here we go. All right, apparently cauliflower crackers. Uh, not sure how that's gonna play. Got some M&Ms. <laughs> I think we got this from the uh, dollar store next door. So who's this fly dedicated to? This fly is definitely going to be dedicated to Liam. Definitely going to be dedicated to Liam. Uh, he's got a few things to learn. So I've been tying flies for about it's been 30 seconds. eight years, and the clock is going. All right, uh, let's see. We got hooks. I'm just going to grab a hook and, and get going. I don't know what's in store, so let's just start with the hook. Okay. Step one done. Got some thread. Oh yes, and I actually have a bobbin, so things are looking really good right now. So how many years have you been flying flies for? Uh, I've been tying flies for about eight years. Uh, no real training. Just sitting at home having fun on the vice whenever I can. And uh, let's see, okay. What's your favorite fish to fly for? My favorite fish to fly for? Well, I like to fish for smallmouth bass mostly. Um, trout's my second favorite, so steelhead, browns, rainbows, all of those count. Um, sorry, I'm distracted. All right, let's see what I got going on here. I have a time limit and Dev's asking me questions, so. Tie that fly! <laughs> okay, tie that fly. I am using a Mustad. Using a Mustad S71 SNP size one knot. I'm just going to start the thread and... So what's your inspiration for this fly? I don't even know what materials I have in front of me yet. So my inspiration is to get something half decent, tied up, that can catch a fish. If your fly was in any movie, what movie would it star in? Oh god, I mean, probably something like Monsters Under the Bed. Three minutes remaining. Three minutes! I don't even know what materials I have. Why do I have 7x tippet in here? All right, I got some feathers. I'm gonna start with some feathers for a tail because that makes sense. Just gonna rip off. How many fish will this last? <laughs> at this rate, uh, this will last at least 100 fish. Yeah, Cause I actually have thread on here. So I am What's feeling crunched for time story? already. So I'm just going at it here. What? What's your favorite toy story? One. Rush. And I don't know why, I'm just saying that. Um, okay. <laughs> All right, I got some feathers on there. I don't even know what to do next. There is nothing here I'm seeing for body material. So I'm thinking I'm gonna take some of these feathers and start wrapping them up the shank. I don't know. I need something here for some body. So I got some schlop in. Anything that's gonna eat bait fish should eat this. I'm just tying the streamer. So I'm just gonna take piece of schlop and tie this in and start wrapping it forward and seeing what shapes up because I really don't know what I'm doing right here. You got 30 seconds left. I seriously only have 30 seconds left? No. You got a minute. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
So, time is of the essence. Can you explain the beauty of fly tying? The beauty of fly tying is that make it your own. How about that? That's four words. That's right. Yep. <laughs> well, <laughs> have fun doing it. <laughs> the beauty of fly tying is that make it your own. How about that? Have fun doing it. <laughs> um, can it be four words or does it have to be three? Yeah, it can be four words. All right, cool. Fish on, baby. This is crazy. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so, what kind of fish are you What is this? I have mayfly tails. I have. I have. Uh, One minute remaining. Deer belly hair. Oh my goodness. Okay. I think this was left over from Liam's fly, so I'm actually going to use some. Actually, it might have been Josh's fly. So I'm just going <laughs> to... Don't worry, I have a plan here. No, I really don't, actually. I lied. This is a horrible idea. Oh, brother. Can I have some extra time? You've got 30 seconds. Seriously? I can't do this in 30 seconds. There's no way. You got it. You can do this. This is not cool, man. <laughs> I, I, I see nothing on here you for... You can't do this. <laughs> All right, I see nothing on here that I would typically use for body material, for the body of this streamer. Okay, this ain't happening. <laughs> this is... Five, four, three, two, Fail. One. Drop it. Fail. Oh, I love it. Fail. Tell you what, that five minutes went by real fast. Dev is very good at distracting me. This assortment of materials was... I didn't even have time to think about it. Does that even count? I mean, that's not a fly. <laughs> Let's see, I need a name for it. I'm kind of thinking something like, I don't know, uh, let's call it the Liberty and Justice. America. Um, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a bait fish pattern. It's got some red tails here. It's gonna move real good in the water at least in the back end. Um, a little tan schlopping and a little blue schlop, uh, that's a hackle up front. So, you know, it's gonna have some nice movement in the water. It's not gonna push too much, but it, it'll get some attention. This thing will be, you know, killer for smallmouth. See some trout eating that. Um, yeah, absolutely. That's, the, that's a definitely a good saltwater fly too. Saltwater quality hook, so. Yeah, pretty versatile fly here. Um, we might end up taking this off. Not sure how that fits yet, but we'll see. Um, okay, so there you have it. My five minute fly. Let me tell you, that time goes by very fast. Um, so next up, I challenge Brian Fleshig to a five minute fly challenge. Yes, don't forget guys, leave a comment, hit, hit the subscribe button, ring the bells, get those notifications, and don't miss our videos. We got new stuff coming out at you all the time. All right guys, thanks a lot for watching. Signing off, we'll see you next time. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.